Chinese guy in there with my monsters. He didn't even say anything when I showed him the cookie. Did you try showing him a fortune cookie? That could work. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> dude, no, don't, don't do this to me, dude. <gasps> what did he just say? Oh my god. Ripoffs. There are so many ripoffs in the world. You got Morgs ripping off Mr. Beast. You got Johnny Tess ripping off the Bible. And then you got the endless barrage of Disney ripoffs and bootlegs that drive the world into a tizzy. There's like so many of them, but we're gonna talk about one phenomenal one today. One that really gets my gears going. The ripoff called What's Up Balloon to the Rescue. Now, I love Pixar's Up. It's really incredible and has the best wallpaper aesthetic in the world. A bunch of colorful balloons floating away a house in a pretty sky. It's everywhere. It's on t-shirts, phone cases, desktop wallpaper backgrounds. It's pretty, but you know what's prettier? A Jolly Rancher hot air balloon lifting a child like a drawing of a house through a melting ozone layer. See, in Up, you have an amazing story of acceptance and coping with loss. You got Carl Fredrickson who takes this little boy on an adventure by accident and hilarity and heartfelt moments and sure. The designs of the characters are all memorable and gorgeously animated by a team of professional geniuses. But on the other side of the spectrum, you have a movie like What's Up, where it might as well have been an inspiration for Rick and Morty. Look, it's Sama and, and Morty and Rick and home. Oh, another Rick. Dang, Rick, Rick is looking really hot in this movie. Can you tell I'm trying to delay talking about the plot of this movie? I've tried to comprehend it multiple times, but it really just blows my mind on how alien all of it is. I know it was a cheap cash-in on the release of the original movie, but this has to be illegal to be like this inept on making a movie like this. This is like something I'd make on a free Stick Fighter Movie Maker app in the 6th grade. No, those actually had like, better quality of animation. What's up, Balloon to the Rescue is an ack 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 movie starring very bad people who have committed many crimes just to voice act in this tragedy. So as soon as this movie begins, it already starts attacking your senses. It just zooms in on a TV screen that just acts like it's recapping an episode of a Saturday morning cartoon, but none of the dialogue strings together to form a sentence. None of the clips have any flow, things literally just keep happening over and over again. We see this little brat boy laying on top of the couch, and he he straight up just looks dead. Maybe he is dead. Maybe the movie's already over and we could just all go home. We cut back to the TV and they're talking about the Sama. girl and they flash a bunch of magazines on the screen and it's very clear they forgot to time it all correctly because the audio just cuts and it keeps transitioning the magazines into the screen. The lovely and most eligible young lady in our city, Amanda. We cut back to the dead kid and Sama walks into frame like a demon and puts the hand of God on this little boy. Apparently these two are sidekicks to the two scientists old farts who just need to shrivel up and just turn to dust already. On TV, the scientists talk about how they about to, you know, make contact with aliens by making the house float to the sky or something. It, it really doesn't matter. They make the house float into the sky and we just, we just look at it. We just, we just look at it for a very long time. And then the graphic just scoop boots the heck out of the way like, what? And then the camera just spasms back to the scientist who was like, bruh, we're only like six minutes in. Six minutes into this movie and I already need some Tylenol. Remember in my last video how I told y'all I got LASIK eye surgery? Well, I think I need it again. I think this movie is damaging my healing process of the intensive surgery that I got and it may be so bad that it's just beyond repair. So we then meet this French boy who comes into this door and he looks like Jerry from Rick and Morty. Hey, yo, we got, we got the whole Rick and Morty crew, guys. This man comes in and this little dead boy's like, let me just, let me, let me just break and sink into the floor real quick. So, hey, uh, cut to an exploration adventure, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess we're doing that now. There, there was no transition between the two. They, they just immediately cut to this place. These dudes walk through a rectal cavity and they get scared. I guess this house flew here with the rising balloon, but like we didn't see it. We didn't see any great takeoff or whatever on the outside of the rectal cavity. We also see the French dude who sets up TNT. I, I guess he's just gonna be the villain. I don't know what ha I don't know what's happening. He also has uranium, bruh, <laughs> glowing rock. Then uh, this kid floats in on his balloon and hits a tree. He he doesn't move. He doesn't blink. He just stares endlessly into the void. And the French guy sees it and he 
contemplates. I have I have no idea what's going on. I, I, I like I lost myself while talking about this movie. The French dude talks to the kid and he surrenders. What? <laughs> what's going on? And then we meet turd aliens. Yeah, remember when they discovered Kevin in the forest? You know, the expressive bird and up? Like the beautiful creature full of emotion without words? I met him once. He, he was a dope guy. Well, here it's turd monsters. <laughs> Okay, so it turns out that the house floated by itself without the balloon, and so when the kid crashes, they were like, let's just take his balloon and put it on our house. And and guess what? You, you never see that kid again. He's literally left there to die. I'm not even kidding. They took this dude's balloon and left him for dead because after that, he was no use to them. It's a cold life in the Rick and Morty what's up ripoff world. So we then see them floating in the sky and we see them look out the window of a house that has no furniture whatsoever. Just an empty room in an empty world. We also see a turd monster on the Eiffel Tower. Yep, that, yep, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, bro, remember when in Up, aliens attacked the Eiffel Tower and then they got shot with juices and that, that just did this to them? Then later on that night, it looks like Sama and French dude do the dance with no pants while the little dead boy is sleeping on the couch. The dead kid is so mad at this that he kicks a cup and it just floats back down all gracefully. The scientists are passed out on the couch like old shriveled up garbage men that they are. And so the trio of heroes fight Satan on the Great Wall of China. I want someone to analyze that entire paragraph that I just said. I want someone to analyze all of the paragraphs that I've said in this entire video because none of it has strung together to form a correct like like narrative flow none of this has made any sense whatsoever i'm actually really just going insane right now so please someone help me i physically cannot comprehend any of the sentences i am saying right now i know this is a bootleg ripoff made for like three dollars in an internet cafe with 30 minutes left before it closes for the night but what is happening? Is it more clear in the original language that it's supposed to be in? I really don't even think that's possible. So at the Great Wall of China, this one dude takes pictures of Satan turd and it stuns him. Balloons then fall and they all float up to safety. The random guy just comes in with them and the kid says really, really, really awful stuff. The Chinese guy is in with my monsters. I want to punt this child. I want to straight up punt this kid across a football field. There's never been a stronger instance in which I want to throw an infant over a 15 story building. So we cut back to a French guy who's just standing against a wall like he, he's he's really he's really going through it right now. He's having a really tough time. The camera then zooms in on him in a very disgusting way and he uses the turd rock to control everyone. He tells the kid to... I don't, I don't know what he tells him to do, but it's quite concerning. The French dude goes outside and dead kid shoots the rock with a blow dart, I think. You see nothing come out, nothing hits the rock, but it sounds like it hit something and it floats away. The kid then runs away with the balloons and he floats over heaven's gate in the ground and leads the turd monsters to try to stop them to, to get them inside to go away, I guess. And then they just float for a while, and we hear the same footstep sound effect for a very, very long time. The dead kid just says more awful stuff. Perfect, China! I promise to give you some Moo Guy Pan when we get back to the house! Let me pop this dude's balloon. Let me pop this kid's balloon and make him drop down and break some bones and hear them snap like twigs, I swear to god. So I guess the monsters get taken care of and the day is saved I guess? These people all have tea and stuff? More awful things are said? Hello everybody! But did you really have to pick someone who might be smarter than me? Wow! You mean he could be that smart? Huh. I thought he was just gonna make us some dinner! I wish I could blow this house up with a missile, and that's that's up. That's the cinematic masterpiece of what's up. What's up, dude? Okay, where do I start? Where do I start with this movie? I shouldn't really call it that because it's just an awful cash grab, but wow. I'm, I'm glad this movie exists. I'm glad it exists because it shows the awful nature of humans and how disgusting they can be. Disgusting animation, writing, and just having ears. It seems like no one had ears when they made this. I didn't think my ears could actually bleed from sound effects, but this proved me wrong. 
After the movie ends, you just see the turd monsters playing some ball game in the sixth dimension of my consciousness, and it's mesmerizing. It's so amazing to look at these low budget ripoffs. It's so great to try to comprehend what goes wrong in someone's life to do this. Why do this? Why just make a bunch of images just pop together with no flow whatsoever? Not, you can't comprehend this no matter what. No matter what drug you take in this current world, there's nothing that can make this movie make sense to you. So why do this? I could have made a better animated movie in Nickelodeon Movie Maker. I've seen better things in that thing. You see this one animation I found of Rocco's Modern Life just pooping on a toilet? I'd watch that a thousand times over compared to what's up. I'm still not over the fact that they left this kid for dead in a forest and just took his balloon. I'm still not over the fact that these characters are terrible human beings and if they're supposed to be a ripoff of Up, a beautiful gorgeous movie. I can guarantee that the people behind this movie only saw the trailer and made it immediately right after that. Right after the trailer, they made this garbage. But maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Let's get the emotional cinematic music in. Maybe this movie is too special for me to understand. Maybe there's a language of warmth and romance I'll never fully comprehend. Maybe my eyes were truly damaged in my surgery and I'm just seeing it all wrong. What's up? More like, what's up doc? I need some help understanding my own heart. Thank you, Balloon to the Rescue. And thank you for bringing me peace and prosperity. Ugh.